media encoder takes forever to render anything out of After Effects. Luckily, Battleaxe came up with a plugin called Anubis that will do it in a fraction of the time. Put them head to it to see what's going to happen. This is an actual client project. I was handed these Photoshop files with the instruction to make them move. Media encoder is open, but nothing's queued. Got my comp selected. I'm going up to composition, add to media encoder. I'm going to speed this up a bit because it takes incredibly long for the link to actually happen. I do load it a second time just because I thought it didn't load the first time. Speeding it up, but 57 seconds later, I actually see the link in encoder. You want to check my settings. And here again, we might have to speed the things up a bit. Creating the dynamic link took 5 minutes and 48 seconds. Just double checking all my settings. And here we go. I did load two by accident because I didn't know that if there was the one loaded or not. So I'm just going to delete that one. And here we go. How? Okay, I'll speed it up. 1 minute and 43 seconds sped up. Now we have an estimated 3 hours and 12 minutes to wait. It's not usually that though, so let's speed it up some more. It was 11 minutes and 34 seconds. And then I just couldn't anymore. I just, for 12 second animation, I killed that render, but that's mainly because I know that there's a better way. The better way is just to add to the render queue, um, or control M. Now, After Effects took away the ability to render H.264 out of the render queue. So we're just going to have to do a uh, high quality render out of uh, the render queue. Find a place to save it. Hit render. And this is real time. This is not sped up at all. So I'm just trying to show the... This is not sped up. The third... Uh, Halfway, this is a different, is it a different file? No, it's the exact same file. It's the exact same comp. And done. 29 seconds. Now open that video file, drop the video file into media encoder, and then re-render as H.264. And it'll take a few seconds. Now you go into the file and delete the giant file and you're left with your smaller file. That workflow works well but it's still quite clunky. Where with Anubis, which is a plugin from Battleaxe, the amount of time it saves me is incredible. Make sure you're on the comp that you want to render. Go to the windows and open Anubis. Double check your settings. Make sure you're rendering where you want to render to. The little post fix there just so that we can see the difference. This is going to allow me to have a low, medium and high quality output. And pretty much that's it. There's some other settings there, but push the big, big Anubis. And again, real time. That one's done. That one's done. And all three done, uh, 40 seconds, um, and the file size is for the high quality is lower than the one that went through render queue and then recompressed in media encoder. The quality, there's no visual um, difference in the, in the, from the high quality to the uh, render queue slash media encoder difference. This is just a massive time saver for me and I thought I'd make a little tutorial just to share with you guys. I'm not affiliated to Anubis or Battleaxe. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I thought I'd just make it because it really saved me some time and I thought the community needs to know about this. If you like it, leave a comment and then we can chat there.